Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff, where today we are doing Spooky Blackpool with our first stop at the Blackpool Dungeon. So you can't actually film in there, so we're, we're just going to go in there anyway and then speak about it afterwards. We've been there a few times, but this is the first time we've been to any dungeon attraction since the new social distancing measures have come into place, so it'll be interesting to see what that's like. So we've just come out of the dungeons now and um, it was actually really good. Uh, we was only in a group of six, so it's just us two and then a family of four. And I actually thought the social distancing measures worked well. Um, I don't know if that's because we was in such a small group. But they only allow four groups in anyway, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. And they've got like little circles on the ground. Yeah, they give you a, a name for like your own little team and then yeah. every time you go into a room there's a sticker on the floor with that name on so you you go and you stand on your own sticker which is a really good way of doing it, it i think it's a good way yeah, yeah. A really good idea because the three stickers are spaced apart and we was the we was the lost souls weren't they yeah. weren't we yeah it was the lost souls but um, yeah there's there's loads i thought actually it was going to be quite difficult for them to um yeah. distance in there yeah, but actually I did. there's once you've only got a few people in there there's there's really not as the rooms are a lot bigger than you think they are. Yeah, and it, it did seem a bit quicker than normal as well, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. I don't know if that's just travelling time though between each room because you're not waiting. Yeah, you're not waiting as for long. everybody else like you normally would. It's normally you're in a much bigger group, aren't you? Would say about fifteen to twenty people. Usually. Yeah, something yeah. like that. It's a lot something of people like normally, and yeah. I think obviously you're waiting for everyone to get through into each room. Whereas with this, as soon as you get, you know, there's only two groups, so once you get to the room, you're there, and they can just start. So I think that's maybe why it was a bit quicker. Yeah. Normal. And then at the end, they've got. It used to be called the tavern, uh, which is like a little pub where you could have uh, beer or cider or cocktails. Um, but that's closed at the minute um, due to the current restrictions. Mm. Um, it's got a new name now as well. What's it called? It's called the Red Lion. The now, Red Lion. I'm sure now. it wasn't before. I'm sure all the dungeons pubs are called tavern. Yeah, aren't they? tavern. Which is the one in London is. Worth yeah. mentioning that um, because the capacity is reduced so much, there's a much higher chance of you getting picked on. Yeah, in there. Craig got picked on in almost every room, didn't yeah. And I only did it once, so I only got picked on once. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I'm usually quite, they usually seem to like me, don't they? I think I just yeah. have one of those faces that says, abuse me. Um, but there you go, really good experience. They've just replaced the what used to be the Vikings show, which to be honest, I think that was the weakest show yeah. before. Not that it was bad, no. but out of all of them, it probably was the weakest before. And I think that would have been harder to do with social distancing because they make you all cramped together and duck down. You all down have to go against yeah, the wall, yeah. Against the wall. But the new show that replaced it with was really good. Mm. It's like a witchy sort of show. Well, it's a, it's a ghost show, so if yeah. you've been to any of the dungeons before, you'll know the Towers Dungeon's oh, yeah, got a show ghost, like yeah. this. Um, Warwick Castle has also got um, a show very similar to this, where and London as well has got the... Um, Jack the Ripper, which is very sort of similar, where the lights mm. go out and someone appears. Obviously, I won't spoil too much, um, but if you've been to the dungeons before, you know the type of show that we're talking yeah. about. Um, and that was a really good one, wasn't it? It was good, yeah. That I really, really did enjoy that. Really made yeah. me jump that one. Yeah. Um, so, next, I think we're just going to pop down the road. There used to be a little museum by the Pleasure Beach um, called the Crypt, which was a museum of horror memorabilia and sort of um, horror sets. Um, that's now shut down and they've moved it right over this end near the tower and they've turned it into a little cafe so um, we're just going to pop over there and we're going to have a look um, carry on our little spooky Blackpool tour. Just on our way to the crypt now and one thing we realised we didn't mention which is worth knowing is that with the dungeons they are only allowing uh, weekend bookings at the moment. And school holidays. And well. school holidays yeah. Through half to home. Yeah. So there's no weekday bookings at the moment, which is why we didn't do it when we did the tower, which is what we normally do. Yeah, normally we would do all the Merlin stuff on the same day.
Now I know it's probably a bit weird to film in a toilet and I'm speaking quietly so people can't hear me and think I'm a weirdo but uh, they have jars in the toilet. Pretty cool. Horror cafe. It was nice there, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. Yeah, just it was had a nice. Coffee. Just had a coffee. Um, so they do hot drinks, cold drinks, cakes, crisps, um, and then they also sell clothing and merchandise as well in there as well. Mm, all yeah. horror, horror, uh, horror themed, yeah. obviously. And if you uh, are dairy intolerant, they also have um, oat dairy. Milk. Yeah, oat milk. And they also did uh, vegan cakes as well. Mm, yeah, so cake for everyone, and it's really, it's really reasonably priced. Yeah, as well. it is actually. And one pound eighty for mm. a coffee, and they were. As hopefully, we got some good footage of the coffees. They are yeah. really big mugs as well. Huge so. and nice mugs as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the final stop on the spooky black port, uh, black black port on the uh, spooky black pool tour is Passage del Terror, which is a scare attraction down by the Pleasure Beach. It features um, characters from real horror films such as Michael Myers, Exorcist, The Nun um, and it's usually a very very scary experience. <laughs> now because of the restrictions that are in place at the moment obviously the actors can only get so close to you and I believe they're all wearing masks. However, we do believe that also because of the restrictions they can only send a, a one group in at a time so normally you'd be in with like eight, ten people um, I think it may just be us two in our group, which is uh, it's a worrying thought, if I'm honest. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I feel about that. We will get that. picked on. We will get picked yeah. on. Um, and I'm a complete wimp as well, she so is. they tend to love me in horror mazes because they can get a really good scare out of me. So <sighs> I may be traumatised for life after this. We'll see you on the other side. Just come out of passage. Jesus Christ, it's that terrifying. was that was horrible. Um, they, unlike we thought, they did actually put us in with another couple and just said to us, we were they were in front of us, we were at the back, and they just said, make sure you keep a meter away the whole time. If I'm honest, it was a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> in that kind of experience where people are jumping out of you, your natural reaction is just just to go, and so it was quite difficult to make sure that we were keeping our distance from them and also it's very dark in there so sometimes yeah. I, I couldn't even see the yeah. people ahead of us so I yeah it made it easier only having one other couple though if they were yeah. a bigger group it if it was a, a big group it, but then i don't know what the rules are maybe it's yeah. only like two couples or a big group i don't know exactly what the rules are but yeah I, I do think it was it was very difficult and we're very good at keeping to social distancing rules but we struggled a lot in there, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. Um, but that is that is just an amazing experience. For saying like um, they're having to stick to the distancing rules and they can't get that close to you, um, it was still absolutely terrifying. And mm -hmm. although no one did get close to us, it's it doesn't really matter, does it? Because when they're when they're running towards you and they they stop in a minute, it doesn't doesn't matter that they're not close to you. It feels like they're <laughs> right on top of you, doesn't it? Yeah. Did you enjoy? Oh, I did, I did. And it was a good preview of the uh, mm. scare attractions we got later on in the month. There is a particular, like we don't want to spoil anything for people who are coming, but there is a particular bit in there with Michael Myers, which is horrifying. It's yeah. like nightmare inducing, it's so scary. Um, and the nun part as well is really, really, like she got us good, didn't she? Yeah. And, oh, oh, I think I need to sit down. They normally have a horror bar, uh, they have like yeah, a little- they do bar at the end it looks like a sort of old-fashioned pub and you can sit and have a drink afterwards which to be honest it's usually needed yeah and this is where we wanted to film this bit yeah this is where nice we hoped to... we would be talking from yeah. but at the moment the the bar's not open probably because it's not that busy yeah today because there was only there was only us and the other couple in the queue there was no one else waiting to go in uh, so it's a shame because we wanted to show you around there but sadly it's closed um so we can't 
Well, that's it now from Blackpool. That's everything that there is um, for us to show you in Blackpool. So we're sat by the sea now. I think my heart rate is just about to come down to a normal level. Um, we definitely recommend Passage. It's a really, really good attraction. It's only 750 if you book online, which is really not that expensive to be quite honest. And it's a really great experience. If you love a fright, want to get those dopamine levels up, then Passage is a really great attraction. Uh, but we're going into Halloween now, into October and providing nothing gets cancelled or the restrictions don't tighten we've got lots and lots of scary stuff planned what have we got planned um so we've got scare fest at Orton towers and um, we've got fright nights at foot pack um, we've got the twy cross what's the twy cross zoo one called it's called horrors of the wild Otherwise, now yeah. we've never seen a zoo do a horror experience before so uh, i'm not saying they haven't we've just never seen them do one before so that'll be really really interesting to see what twy cross bring pull out of the bag um, and even more exciting, we've got Extreme Screen Park this year, which we've never, ever no. done before. No. Um, it's always rated really highly, um, so we're really looking forward to that. We didn't really want to do it with the restrictions that are in place at the moment, but it is what it is. So we're going to go there and we're going to have a good time. It looks terrifying. So, ooh. Next week, though, we've got a slightly less terrifying experience. We're going back to West Midlands with our free ticket um, to check out their spooky, spooktacular, spooky Halloween, some sort of Halloween they've got event they've got going on anyway. So subscribe to us for all of that content. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Uh, ring that bell so you can be notified whenever we upload. And we'll see you next time we do stuff.